and the video is brutal, heartbreaking to watch. A student with special needs attacked inside her school, and the video posted online. Why it's taken more than a week for the school to take action. Tommy, our news at 5, a horrifying beating. The girl lies on the floor while she's kicked and punched. And the attack happened nearly two weeks ago, but that young woman's mother says she just found out about it, even though the school knew for days. Our Chauncey Glover has more from the mother and the principal, we understand, who's now apologizing. Chauncey? Carmen, that's the good news here with this story. The principal is owning up to it. He is being very apologetic, and he's also working with his staff to make sure nothing like this happens again. In the meantime, Alondra Jones, she is 23 years old, but she has the mind of a child. She loves coming to school here, but as you can imagine, she's now terrified to come back through these doors. And here's the reason why. is heartbreaking. Special needs student Alondra Jones being attacked by another student. It happened here inside the Charles Drew Transition Center, a Detroit public school for young adults with special needs. I was devastated. I was hurt to see my child down there on the ground getting stumped like that. Another student recorded it on his cell phone. It appears he and other classmates knew what was about to happen. The video was later posted on Facebook. That adds to it. That she's humiliated now. As you can imagine, Alondra is now terrified to go back to school. I don't want to go to school at all. Alondra's mom is even more upset because she says the school knew about the beating, but no one said anything to her until nearly 10 days after the video hit Facebook. The school nurse called me and told me that she needed to show me something. School leaders tell me there was an earlier reference within the school about the videotape fight that had surfaced. However, it was not possible to determine any identities of the subjects from the quality of the video that was shown to school officials. But this is where the incident took place. Robert Abedesian is the school's principal. If I knew what happened that day, I would have resolved it. Nothing was reported to me. He said he assumed I knew. How did you assume I knew this? Then he said it was a fight. Sorry, that wasn't a fight. That was an assault. Mr. Abedesian gave me a tour of the school. He takes pride in all the positive things going on here and says he hopes people will see his school is much better than what's shown in this horrible video. And he mostly hopes this mother will give the school another chance. You can't apologize enough. Good. I need um, whatever done that's going to make Alondra happy. I just want her to get back um, to trusting people. And I just don't want her to think that this is the way things are going to be the rest of her life. Now, we didn't show that video uh, too much because it's it's heartbreaking to watch, as I said earlier. But I have to applaud the school district in working with me today on this story. The school principal, like I said, invited me into the school. And he is really trying to come up with a plan to make amends with this mother. He invited me in and he was very open. Now, back to the young girl who attacked Alondra. I'm told she has been suspended from school. And Detroit Public School Police did file charges against her. We're live this evening. I'm Chauncey Glove back to you. Now, Chauncey, the principal has apologized and certainly has uh, let us know that he plans to do something. Do you know if he's planning to implement any new rules to ensure safety of all the students there, especially, especially this one? Carmen, he is. He is trying to come up with the plan, but here's for starters. He says, yeah, well, first let me tell you, this happened as the students were coming out and to get on the bus. This happened in, in that hallway I showed you. He says, from now on, there will be three teachers on each side of that hallway, plus someone standing in the middle of those students as they go out to catch the bus. Like I said, being very apologetic to try to make sure also that this doesn't happen again, Carmen. All right. Our Johnson Glover reporting for us live. Thank you, Chauncey.